Whoa. Hopping in the cop car, aka my dad's car. Okay, here we go. No, my dad's not a cop because so, I feel like someone asked that and he's not. Anyway, hello, welcome to the vlog. Today is the day I've been waiting for for probably since last week, which means I'm picking up my shift knob and you guys are going to finally see the color reveal, the finished product, the... I don't even know. I haven't even seen it yet. Uh, my friend hasn't sent me any pictures, but I'm heading over to his house right now uh, to go check it out. And then also in today's video, uh, all my friends know that I got the shift knob made and they've seen like the rendering basically, like not the finished product obviously. And no one knows what color it is. So, and I honestly don't really know like the exact color, but it's gonna be a surprise to me. It's gonna be a surprise to all my friends. So I'm planning on just going up to like Jordan, Steven, Will, whoever I can and getting a reaction. So I think it should be pretty fun. Okay, so things escalated quickly and uh, I got the shift knob. It is currently sitting on my lap. And I also, um, I got a short shifter. Cart boy, short shifter. Let me explain. Okay, so basically, every time I come over to my friend's house, he always has stuff he is selling because he's always building something new. For example, he has a Subaru right there, which he was building. It's a Hawkeye, 2006 WX, just like mine. He went big turbo injectors, all kinds of stuff. And then he's like, you know what? I'm gonna sell everything and throw one Jay-Z in it. So there's no engine in that car right there. He also is working on another bug eye over there that he's throwing a 2.5 in instead of the two liter that comes in it. Basically, he works on cars all the time and he's low key gnarly. So, oh God, I'm just hitting bushes. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Let me just, let me focus here. Let me focus here. So, every time he builds something new, I basically reap the, bene <laughs> reap the benefits and get parts really cheap. So, I got hooked up with that cardboard shifter and also some shifter bushings. So, I guess that's what we're doing today. That's what we're going to install. I'm going to make Jordan help me. Um, he's probably still sleeping, to be honest. Can I just back out of here? Can I just... Can that happen? So, I know you guys are still waiting to see the shift knob. <clears throat> but, I think I'm going to show you once it's all finished installed short shifter and all i mean like it's oh my god i think you just saw it okay well you'll see it in a second so i just got home right now but before i start working on my car i know that once i start i'm not gonna stop till it's done i haven't eaten breakfast it's 11:38, so chef alex is in the biz right now so i'm gonna eat this head down to the garage grab some tools and then start uh, doing what i gotta do so basically Wait, I haven't shown you the color yet. Did you see it at any point? You probably saw the color, honestly. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera. I feel like every YouTube person says that when they have like a color reveal, but like, should I just show you now or should I show you when it's done? Okay, let me show you a couple things. So basically, I got these shifter bushings, but these are the bushings that are go to basically the, I'm gonna call it the bottom of the shaft, right? I'll, we'll call it a shifter shaft. I don't know the exact terminology, but it's, that linkage that goes to the transmission on the driver's side, it's basically right there. There's two bushings that are there. So it's just one bolt. I'm gonna replace those probably first because that's gonna be the hardest part getting under my car. And then I also got uh, the Cart Boy short shifter. So that is basically just one bolt that goes through. You can't see the color. One bolt that goes through right there. And then that little ball basically just like you just shove it in there. So basically that's all that's gonna take. You know what, okay. I'll, sh I'll show you right now, I'll show you right now. Give me a second. Ah, I thought I was gonna show you, but I'm burning my food, so you're gonna have to wait. Okay, so we're all finished eating, all ready to go. Now it's time to install the short shifter, the bushings, and the shift knob. So I thought I was going to do the shifter bushings first, 
but I decided that I want to put in the actual short shift in first, see how it feels, then compare it to when I do the bushings just to see if there's actually a difference. I feel like it, that just makes more logical sense. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to put in short shifter. So let's do it. First things first, take off this old shift knob. Okay, there it goes. Goodbye. And then pop this out. Throw it to the side. And as you can see, there's literally one bolt right there that needs to come out. So, fair warning, both of these are both 12 mil. So, ratchet, socket, ready to go. Okay, so that one bolt came out, which was holding this together, as we can see. And now I just gotta pull this little ball out. Well, got it out. We'll see how. That is the old one. Here's the new one. You can see that it is shorter. That's why they call it a short shifter. <sighs> Don't ask why I'm out of breath. Don't ask why I have a freaking mini sledgehammer, but the new one is in. Time to show you the shift knob. Ooh, okay, it is in. It is done. Wow. Wow. I'm not even just saying that, like, for a reaction. Like, it's actually significantly shorter. It took off an inch of... This guy it was like an inch and a quarter probably of length and I'm thinking this ball was blown out or whatever because it feels stiffer already and I didn't even do the bushing yet so I'm very happy so far now let's see the color. Basically it just looks white on camera, but it's actually a white pearl. So it almost looks like it's glowing essentially. So it looks super, super cool in person. And I've always wanted a white shift knob, so is Jordan. And I finally just had to do it. Uh, I wasn't gonna do any like super crazy color just because of the way I'm going with my color scheme with my car. So this white shift knob will make sense eventually. So let me know what you guys think of my pearl white shift knob. I think it looks just perfect. I think it stands out enough to where it's cool and it kind of blends in enough to where it doesn't look too out there. So that that's kind of like the way I'm going with my build. I don't want to be like the boy racer, but at the same time I do. I don't know, I'm kind of weird. So now that the short shifter's in, the shift knob is on and it's looking literally exactly how I wanted it to so I'm super happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and do the shifter bushings now and I think that's going to take a little bit because I got to lift up my car, take off my bumper, hashtag low life. Every time I put my car up in the air it literally takes like 45 minutes because I have to take the side skirts off and the bumper off and the, oh, okay I'm done complaining it just takes a while. So now I'm going to go under there take off one bolt and put in two bushings. Shouldn't be that hard, but then again, everything, when I do, when I work on a car, somehow it gets broken. Or, anyway, let's do it. That little sandwich with one bolt, that's what I'm taking out. After a long, hard fought battle, I've won. But yes, I, I ripped this bushing like to pieces, but new one's about to go in. And I was trying to figure out like, what's the difference between these two? And really the only difference I could feel is like this bushing is just kind of softer, more rubbery. And then this one that's going in is like really hard rubber. So I assume it's just going to make everything just a little bit tighter, which it's supposed to do. So makes sense. Okay. Jordan, shut up. I got you a present. If you can guess what this is, I will buy you lunch. It's broken first of all. It looks. It's broken. Okay. Let's get some good guesses here. It looks like now this part's clean. I'm gonna break it down. This okay. part's clean. So okay. nothing. It didn't. It's not like a. Uh, 
it's not like a mount. It didn't go into anything. Okay, okay. It okay. looks like something went on here. Okay. Something went on here. Good stuff, good stuff. Right, so this got sandwiched together. So I guess it could have been a mount, but. <laughs> And there's a hole, there's a so hole. obviously something got clamped something, down. Something was in there. Does it have anything to do with your transmission? Yes, actually. So this isn't a mount? Like, you didn't get, like, an upgraded polyurethane mount or anything? I mean, like, are you trying to say bushing? Or are you trying to say mount? Like, I don't know what you're trying to say. Well, there's both, because I know there's, like, trans... Or, I don't know, on my GTI, all I know is I got upgraded mounts for my motor, but it was, like, a bushing where it had to go into something. Okay, so basically it looks like I'm buying you lunch for the third day in a row because you basically got it right, kind of, but this... Wait, why, why did you upgrade your transmission? Don't pushing. worry about it, all right? Now, now look, it's not a transmission mount, it's a so a like, bushing. it's a bushing for... Come, come. Well, you could look at it, first off. It's called pearl white. You have to look at it close. Just go, just go, just, no, no, just go feel it. Just go feel it. Wait, since when was your color scheme white? Since when... No, no, no. Put the clutch in and then just like kind of kind of play around with her. Just play around. Is she weighted? Oh. oh! Oh! Does it feel better or not? Oh my god. It literally Does it feel feels better? like... It What's feels that? like you're ready to race. Like, you know, like... Uh, it's right like there. there. It's right there. Yeah. It's a, it's a cardboard short Holy shift. shit. No, this one's weighted. That one's weighted. Can I put this on my car? If you need it to. All right, so I'm all showered up, and this is gonna be my first. You can even see how much shorter it is. Like, check it out. All right, it's my first drive. Let me see if I can film and shift. Here we go. About to do my first shift. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Literally exactly what I wanted. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. So it's confirmed short shift is a must for the Subaru. Plus, my shift knob feels like super good in the hand. And also, just because it got like freshly powder coated, it feels like super smooth. Anyway, I'm very, very happy. Have, have your viewers even what seen the? my car? Like, yes, with the splitter on? they've seen it with the splitter. They've seen it with the splitter. It looks, yeah, Jordan, your car looks better than mine. Okay, all right, no one cares. No, I'm, like I'm sorry, like you know, it just I didn't, I didn't mean to. Yeah, it just happened, you know. I just get in your car. It's kind of weird. Anyway, so Jordan wants to drive my car and try out the shifter. So we'll see what his reaction is actually driving it. I can't get in. Alright. It's like pretty notchy. Okay. Okay, let's see what it's let's see what it's like. Well you gotta like shift gears, you know what I'm saying? It's just happened. Okay, so that was a worst shift there, but go third. Oh, it's so Tell me. it's right there. It's, it's right, right there. there. That's exactly the what shift wanted. knob. Honestly, I might need to get one made for me. I told you, it feels really good. It feels really good in my hand. Speaking of, that's not just me and him saying that. Uh, the boy Mike. Wow. If you didn't already know, he made it for me. And he also has a website that you can order them from now. And he makes all of them custom. And he just told me there's like 256 different powder coat colors you could do. That's you, really exciting because I almost, almost want to get my own. Like, you tell me it's not fun. Definitely have to get a short shift if you have a Subaru. And a anyway, so if you want a shift not made, be sure to check him out. It's gonna be in the description below. His Instagram, his phone number, and his website that you can order the shift knobs from. And tell him Alex sent you. Alrighty then. So that was weird. I tried to get you in the shot, it just didn't work out. I don't think it's gonna work out. Okay. Okay, I guess it worked I out. Done. So I think I'm going to end the video here. Let me know what you guys think of this shift knob and be sure to go check out the description. Stop touching the shift knobs. Okay, my life. Check out the description if you want to get one of these guys, order online. <laughs> Tell why are you why are you laughing? Like I was actually doing good.
No, keep going. I don't know why. I like you're gonna get one made, so I know. I know. All right, yeah. just check it out. Is you know? there a promo code that I can type in so that I get a discount? No, there's no promo code. Just tell them that you know Alex, and then you get a discount. Okay, that's it. Be sure to <laughs> subscribe. Fuck, that's the first time I've ever said that. Be sure to describe? No, I said subscribe. I don't know, you can I've make never, a description. I've a never, description. you can make a description. I hate you. But okay, we're ending the video here. Oh I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Well, hold on! We're going to Danville Cars and Coffee. I think that's all I'd say. Yeah, Danville Cars and Coffee on Sunday, 8 o'clock. Be there or be square or circle, whatever you wanna be. Peace out.